All right, so it's the morning, day two. It's uh, Sunday, April 2nd, 2017. And I'm the last one out of camp. Logan was the first one out of camp. And then a couple other guys left. And then here comes Logan. Back. Nice, man. Anyway, here comes Logan back to the shelter. Because he had left my brand new two liter platypus soft bottle on the table. So Logan will have some extra miles on him today. It's a 12 mile day. Coming out of Damascus on day one or two is not flat. That's not the flat part of Virginia that they're talking about. But views, baby. Logan has, is ahead of me. And he has explicit instructions. If you get to a junction, stop and wait. I don't want you to turn the wrong way. And so the first junction I get to, there's a note. It's a, it was a blue blaze trail. And the white blaze was clearly identifiable to follow it. So there's a note stuck to the signpost. It says, I did not turn left. I went straight. The blue blaze leads back to the shelter. Bandit. Because Logan's trail name is Bandit. That's right. That's Logan. I just crossed two and a half miles for the day and I caught Logan. It took me that long. That's all. I don't know what kind of head start he had. Hello, how from? Maybe a 20 minute head start. Just about. But I had to come back because I forgot the water bottle. No, yeah, I'm, I, I, I told that story in an earlier video. I had to come back for the water bottle. I'm not counting that. I'm counting from when you actually left yeah. for good. It's been a good hike, don't you think? Yeah, definitely. So some of those views. Uh. <laughs> Welcome to the creek. All right, so we're out of the woods. We're on the Virginia Creeper Trail. The Appalachian Trail piggybacks along it. It's an old rail to trail thing. Anyway. We got good weather today in Virginia. Yesterday was overcast the whole time till six o'clock. Not quite halfway down this bridge. <laughs> A long footbridge. It's still part of a bicycle trail. I've seen a lot of bikes coming down this footbridge, flying down the footbridge.
they should mark the halfway point on the bridge. Time, two hours, 33 <laughs> seconds. Okay. Distance, 5.01 miles. Average pace, 24 <laughs> minutes, 5 oh, well. seconds per mile. Now you know exactly how far I've walked today. Hey, look at that. I don't want you to miss this one. Blazes, post, everything's blazed. Don't go that way. This way. Okay. So halfway through the day, did uh, I think six and a half miles. We just wrapped up a lunch break at Lost Mountain Shelter. Now we're headed north <laughs> about six miles to a road crossing with the, like a forest service road with campsites and a creek. It's a gorgeous forest right here. crossed, I think, uh, US 58, heading north, Virginia, day two, Damascus to Mount Rogers Visitor Center. So I've done eight miles today, have four more to go or so. Maybe around nine miles north of Damascus, you've got this a double gate my guess is this is to keep the lot animals probably cows it's like a big field up there keep the cows in now, this is more like what I expected Virginia to look like not so much forest Logan puts on the suntan block that I gave him. There he is, up there by the tree. Putting on suntan block. I'm sure of it. Think about this. Hmm? What do you think about this? It's really sunny. Right. <sighs> Look at this, man. I hope I don't get sunburned. You have sunblock. Put it on. Where? <sighs> yeah, it's on the it's right side, man. I'm glad you have it. Get your pail for this. We have to go up to the top of that mountain. Well, no bulls, no wild animals attacking us. Seventy degrees out. Logan's so hot he took off his shirt.
I'm getting ready to drink all that water. What? But, so that mountain up there, there's a the white blaze on a the rock there, and then I'm gonna I'll buy a look behind us. Check this out. It was not an easy climb to get up here, but man, this was worth it, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. All right, so, okay, so we'll walk up here. I think I see a white blaze on the top of this mountain up to our left. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. Well, all right, yeah, there's definitely white blazes all the way up to those rocks up there. And, uh, All right, we've been hiking, and uh, we're getting closer. To the, look at the white blazes. The view behind us is amazing. I was waiting until I get up to the same spot. The wind just picked up. That wind is nice. Anyway, I'll turn around when I get up to where Logan is. Show off my new view. All right. Like somebody might have tinted right there. I mean, I wouldn't blame them. This is amazing. Oh, man. I guess I should do the panorama. God damn. Look at those mountains way over there. Those look rough. Yeah. All right. So we're almost at that rock, and I started taking a couple steps, and I see trees rising from above. Maybe. <laughs> I see cars over there. Yeah. That's like just rubbing salt in the wound. Oh, you know what? That might be the highway. The road. Or the pull-off. Yeah. Yeah. Because it means the road's in that gap down there. I guess. There's no gap. Yeah. That's no gap. No, we're gonna see the we're just gonna follow this around and then go up through that dirt. No, there's totally a gap. And it's not gonna drop down much. Why don't you just bring your pack? What's with the backtracking? <laughs> Alright. Oh yeah. 